This is Kling AI, this is Runway, and this is a 100% free and uncensored tool that puts out pretty competitive results. In this one, we're talking about new updates with consistent characters and environments, super awesome AI VFX, and some other really useful AI tools and updates. Not bad, Kira. I gotta say, you're getting pretty good at opening these YouTube videos. Thanks, Scrotty. Now quit yapping and let's see the details. So one of the tools that's been getting a lot of attention recently is LTX Studio. Let's take a look. This is my AI twin, and I have trained it so that I can completely control my facial movements and I control the camera movement. Now I can put myself in any setting from any perspective and also have the perfect human lifelike movement. I can even put myself working behind a bar, for example, or put myself on the rocks right next to it. And this is all controlled with Google VO2 and LTX Studio. On LTX Studio, you can see that they've got the train and actor section where you can upload a bunch of photos of yourself and it will use that data to train up a little data set. Once you've done that, you can write in a text prompt detailing the environment that you want your character to be in, select your character, and now you'll get a mood board with yourself in a bunch of different positions in the same location. And they've just added Google VO2 to their website, so you can now animate your photos with human lifelike behavior. So if you want to try it out, type AI in the... So that's actually pretty interesting. Now there's nothing new about being able to upload a bunch of reference images and create these characters or clone yourself, create these AI avatars and everything like that. That's been around for a while. You can do it in FreePick, you can do it in Krea. Actually my favorite one at the moment is a tool called Design, which if you wanna know why that's my favorite, I have a full demonstration on that down in the, in the description. So feel free to check that out. But what is actually interesting here is that even if you're able to create consistent characters, one of the biggest challenges is being able to keep the environment consistent. And so it looks like LTX Studio is taking a little bit of a different approach here, which is actually pretty cool if it works out that way. So let's try it out. All right, so logging into LTX Studio, this is the home page, and we can see here's the create an actor thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. So I went ahead and I created myself in this little sequence of scenes. It's basically taking the story and it's created me as the character that would be in this story, which I think this actually came out pretty good. I'm gonna hit create. And at this point, it's now broken it down scene by scene of what exactly would happen in the story. I'm gonna go ahead and click start and let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's just now finishing up, creating all of these different scenes and images, and it does kind of do what it's supposed to do in terms of, you know, creating this consistent world where, you know, it's thematically consistent. But again, if I was making a real AI film here, I would not use any of these scenes, I would not use any of these clips, and I would essentially create the entire thing from scratch and redo everything. And we can also see that it's not even really consistent. If I open this up, here's me wearing some certain outfit right here, and then opening the next one, it's a completely different outfit. So when it comes to LTX Studio, maybe it might be handy for some you know, certain use cases, but here's what I would do instead. So if I wanted to create a sequence of consistent scenes, I would do it here inside of ChatGPT. ChatGPT is just so much more flexible in terms of telling it what you want, and it will give you exactly what you want or modify the picture exactly how you want it modified. But let's say, for example, that I wanted my certain influencer to be the main character of this story. Well, what I would do is come here into design. I mentioned this a little bit earlier, and I'll just go ahead and bring this ChatGPT image into design. And now I can come over here to character. I can choose one of my trained characters. We can see that I have Kira right here. And so now at this point, I can just go ahead and trace around this guy, and I will be able to replace him with my influencer. So I'll just hit generate. And now it's gonna give me these different options to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead with this one. Now, obviously she's not wearing the right outfit. In fact, this is the outfit that she should be wearing for this sequence of scenes. So what I'm gonna do now is come to the AI editor. We're gonna to go to insert object and I'll go ahead and upload that reference image. For the prompt, I'll just put a desert outfit. And now I just have to trace around the current outfit that I want to be replaced. Okay, so I'll go ahead and generate. And now, just like before, I have some different options that I can choose from. This is how I can create consistent scenes with a consistent character with a consistent outfit while also maintaining complete creative control and get all the details and nuances that I want. Now, the next tool that's been getting a lot of attention recently is a tool called Higgsfield, which specializes specifically in, you know, different transitions and AI effects and all kinds of cool stuff. Let's take a look. 
really make your videos more interesting using a simple AI video effect. It's called bullet time, just like that scene in the movie The Matrix. And just this effect alone opens up so many creative possibilities. And how easy it is to do is even crazier than how good it looks. Check it out. So the first step is grab an image from any video that you want, put that into Higgsfield AI and choose the bullet time effect. Leave the prompt empty or let your imagination run wild. Wait a few minutes for the results and boom, you have it. So I gotta say, Higgsfield is actually pretty cool. In fact, I recently did a full demonstration on Higgsfield. If you come to the Creator Secrets channel, this one right here, Higgsfield AI versus Kling AI, the ultimate VFX showdown. So check that one out if you wanna see a full demonstration on it. But with Higgsfield, you have all of these different presets and effects that you can basically just click with one button and apply it to your video. So they've got a lot of really cool stuff and it's super easy to apply these effects. I will say that not all of them work as advertised, like some of them end up coming out pretty weird and wonky, but overall the large majority of them work really well. And so you wouldn't necessarily want to use Higgsfield as, you know, your primary video generation tool, but if you're looking for like really cool and unique effects that you want to apply to certain scenes and stuff like that, that's really what Higgsfield is good for. So yeah, Higgsfield is actually pretty awesome. So the next one we're going to look at is Kling AI. Now, most of us are already familiar with Kling AI, but we're going to be looking specifically at their new replacement feature. Let's take a look has to get banned soon because you can now put yourself or anyone into any movie scene in seconds. Remember the scene from Wolf of Wall Street? Boom. Now it's me. Want to swab Taylor Swift into Severance? Done. Mr. Beast in Mission Impossible? Say less. Here's how you can do it in just a few clicks. Just search for Kling here. Once you're here, select multi elements. Upload any clip under five seconds. Choose who you want to replace. Lastly, upload the picture you want to replace the character with and use this exact prompt. So I have actually been using this feature and it does somewhat have mixed results, but let's go ahead and give it a try. So here I have a little clip of what is supposed to be Kira, you know, walking towards the camera. Obviously there's a giant lion behind her. So I'm gonna try to replace this girl with the actual Kira so that it looks more like her and let's see if it actually works. First I'll come up here to the multi elements and you can either swap a character, add a character or delete, you know, something off of the screen. In this case, I wanna leave it on swap and I'll bring our video clip here. Okay, so now it's gonna tell me to select what I want to replace. Obviously I want to replace Kira, so I'm just gonna click on her and it's gonna automatically highlight her. So I'm just kind of going throughout the clip and then you know, re-highlighting her to make sure that it stays accurate throughout the clip. Okay, and so we can see that it's doing a pretty good job here of understanding what it needs to replace. So I'll go ahead and click confirm. And so now I need to bring in the image that I'm going to replace it with. And so we can see the two different faces here. This is obviously not what Kira is supposed to look like. And this is what she's supposed to look like. So this is the image that we're gonna use to replace her. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that image into here. Okay, and now looking at the prompt, I'm saying swap the woman from image one for the woman from the reference video. And so let's see what happens with that. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here is the end result. And I have to say, this looks way more accurate to what Kira is actually supposed to look like. Again, this is the reference image right here. So overall, I would say it did a really good job here and no complaints. Just for fun, I also did one replacing her with myself. And so for this one, this is the reference image that I used on this one. Now, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of Kira's hair that was not cropped out of this one, but again, overall, really, really good. Another big update that's been getting a lot of hype is Mid Journey's Omni Reference. Let's take a look. All right, Midjourney just released an amazing new feature. It competes directly with OpenAI's 4.0 image generation. It's called Omni Reference. It lets you take any person or object and place it into completely different scenes while maintaining incredible consistency. Let me show you what it could do. I took a picture of myself and had it generate me wearing popcorn merch, as a bodybuilder, as a king, and even in a spacesuit. The results are insane. It doesn't just work with people either. Cars, products, pets, 
anything can be used as a reference. To use it on the web, just drag your image into the Omni reference bin and adjust the strength slider. You can even control how much it adheres to your reference image with the OW parameter. Going higher preserves more details, while lower values gives the AI more creative freedom. Compared to 4.0 image generation, Midjourney creates more artistic, more realistic images with better composition, but it still struggles with prompt adherence and text generation. Where 4.0 wins is on accuracy and text generation. So if you're looking for very creative images, Midjourney is probably the best. It costs two times the GPU hours of normal generations, and it's not compatible with inpainting or fast mode yet. But for creating consistent characters or product showcases across multiple scenes, it's great. You may need to generate a ton of images to get what you want though. So I've actually been playing around with this a little bit and in my experience, it's not that great, but let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so here in Mid Journey, I'm gonna click this little icon right here and I'll just go ahead and put in a reference image here. I'll select Omni Reference and click this one and I'll just type in a desert warrior okay well since it decided to cover up my face i guess that's not going to be very helpful so i'll just go ahead and use a man walking toward the camera in a luxurious villa let's see what happens this time okay so here's what we ended up with right here i changed the prompt to a close-up of a man walking towards the camera and for whatever reason it's still not wanting to uh, do a close-up this one's a close-up selfie but not that i mean it's okay but not that great this one's maybe not bad that one might be usable that one's okay so yeah i mean it's okay let's go ahead and try using kira on omni reference and see what happens here i'll say a woman in a red dress sitting at a bar let's see what happens with that okay and so here's what we ended up with on those and yeah i mean these pictures definitely look good but i wouldn't say that's kira maybe a cousin of hers or something like that let me try to play around with this Omni Strength and see what happens. I'll just crank it all the way to the top and let's see what happens. Okay, and so here's the result with Omni Strength cranked all the way to the top. Let's try it again, this time bringing it all the way down to, let's say, 75. All right, and so here's the images with Omni Strength at 75. And so the higher it is, again, these are the ones where it's cranked all the way to the top at 1,000. This is where it's supposed to reference the image more. And yeah, I can definitely see that it's taking more inspiration from the image here. And then at 75, it's referencing the image less. And yeah, you can definitely see that this is not looking like Kira at all. It's a completely separate person. So again, overall, the Omni reference feature, I would say is pretty okay. I do think this could be useful. However, if you are trying to train your own model, you could use Omni reference so that your image outputs are as consistent as possible and then you could take you know 10 or 15 of these images to train your own influencer or train your own model now just so you know i'm using this tool right here called vidbuzz io this is how i'm able to discover all of the most you know trendy ai news and topics and things like that right now i have it set for the last seven days so if you want to always know what's going on in the ai world and ai news updates all that cool stuff this is a really great tool to use for that right now i'm in the ai news and tools section but it also has all of the most trendy AI niches this tool is built specifically for AI content creators so if I wanted to look at luxury niche for example I could click on this and I'll put it on the last 30 days and now I can see all of the highest trending AI videos in the luxury niche over the last 30 days and so if I was in the luxury niche I could know exactly what types of luxury videos are getting millions of views I have a full demonstration showing exactly how all of this works as well so if you want to check that one out. I will have that down in the description as well. So now let's talk about frame pack. This is a 100% free and uncensored video gen tool image to video. So what I did here is I took this image and it works basically like any sort of, you know, image to video tool. You put in your image here, you put in your text prompt here, 
and this was the end result. I gotta say this came out pretty good. Down here, there's a few settings that you can adjust. Generally, you're gonna wanna leave all this stuff at default, but this is the only thing that you might want to adjust. This is the length of the video, and what's crazy here is you can go all the way to 120 seconds long for a video clip. In this case, I just left it at 10. I mean, if you had it at 120, that would take an extremely long time. For context, this 10 second video took just under an hour and I have an NVIDIA 4090 with 16 gigs of VRAM. So while this is super awesome and it gives you really good results, obviously the fact that it's free and uncensored is a huge benefit, but it will take a lot of time if you're using this to create all of your clips. For comparison, here is the output that I got from Kling running the same exact image and the same exact image prompt. And this one came out really, really good. No surprise there. Kling is one of the best video gen tools. I also ran this through Runway as well. And I gotta say the ones from Runway actually came out pretty good as well. These are definitely usable clips. The big downside with Runway is that it's generally gonna be more censored. So I had to modify the prompt a handful of times in order to get this to work. So overall, Kling is gonna have the best quality and it's quite fast, but the downside is that Kling is the most expensive. Runway is gonna give you decent quality, it's unlimited, and it's quite fast if you're using the turbo model. The problem is you could run into censorship issues and it's just not gonna be quite as good as clean. With Frame Pack, it's completely free and uncensored. It's gonna give you pretty decent quality. Of course, it's also unlimited since you're using your own machine. But of course, the downside is that it's extremely slow. You can only run one video at a time and you are gonna have to have a pretty powerful machine to run it. Now, installing Frame Pack is actually super easy. All you have to do is come right here to Pinocchio. You can just Google Pinocchio. It should be the first thing that pops up right here. You're gonna click on this and then just come down to download. Once you get Pinocchio installed, it's gonna look something like this. I have a handful of different open source tools installed. Yours will have nothing in it, but what you'll wanna do is come up here to where it says discover. And right here, you will you can either type in frame pack or you'll likely just see it right here at the top. So you'll just want to click on frame pack and then you can click download. After you do that, you'll see frame pack in your dashboard right here. You can just click on it. And in your case, you'll still have to install it if it hasn't yet been installed. Keep in mind, this is 49 gigs, so it could take some time to install, but eventually it will load into a display that looks like this. And then you can basically just start using the tool, drop in your image, write your prompt, click generate, that's it. Which by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q and A calls in the Creator Secrets community on school. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine, along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below. So there you have it. Hopefully I will see you in the Creator Secrets community soon, but that's it for this one and I will see you in the next video.